and welcome to the Citizen Report. I'm Jonathan Shannon in Marshville, North Carolina. And I'm David Heller in Oklahoma. And thank you for joining us for this special bulletin of the Citizen Report. As always, this newscast is real, in-depth, American. And David, glad to have you back a little earlier than anticipated. But of course, you are our chief mirror, uh, chief uh, weather correspondent, I should say, and uh, on the Citizen Report. Uh, so uh, we've got a tropical system coming up the Gulf of Mexico right now, and it's going to impact portions of the Gulf Coast, David. And um, we're getting some new information literally as we're fixed uh, just just before we came on here with a special bulletin. And David, it's my understanding that actually the track is shifting a little to the east or at least the model, the models are supporting that theory. David, go ahead and brief everyone on what you know about this tropical storm crystal ball. Yes, and uh, thank you very much, um, Jonathan, for that. Uh, good evening, to everybody. Um, as uh, Jonathan said, we have a, a tropical storm named Crystal Ball that is down in the Gulf of Mexico. So I am going to go ahead and share my screen now and uh, show everybody at home the latest information that, as Jonathan said, just came in as we were coming on the air for this special bulletin. So here's the latest information as of the 7 p.m. Central Time intermediate advisory uh, right now uh crystal ball has the maximum sustained wind of 50 miles an hour right here 50 miles an hour and right now the movement is to the north at 12 miles per hour north at 12 miles per hour and obviously for those at home you can see um what type of wind speeds are needed in order to you know, have a name, have a hurricane, stuff like that. Uh, you need winds of 39 to 73 miles per hour in order to be a tropical storm and get a name. We're definitely well above that threshold right now. We're at 50 miles per hour. And those blue areas that uh, you see that are along the coastline from Louisiana all the way to the Florida Panhandle, that is tropical storm warnings mean that conditions are likely to have tropical storm force wind conditions at the coastline. All right. Uh, obviously, we're not going to go over the storm surge and that sort of thing yet for this special bulletin because I do have to keep this thing brief and short. But to give everybody the idea of the track, you can see where this is going to go so after making landfall in louisiana it's going to make this path right here cutting across louisiana entering arkansas as a depression and then jonathan it's going to come up right through the ozarks through harrison branson springfield all that before making the turn to the north northeast and ultimately ending up all the way up here to canada uh, by Wednesday, departing the United States. So, Jonathan, this is basically going to be one of those storms that is basically going to make a trek all the way across the United States and ultimately is going to dissipate probably somewhere um, in Canada, well into Canada, as a matter of fact, with the way this uh, latest track from the National Hurricane Center is going. Exactly. Um, Exactly, David. And just because, and this is something I want people to understand, just because this is not a hurricane by definition, this is a tropical storm, um, it's important that people take this seriously. And we're not fear-mongering here, everyone. We want everyone to be well-informed of the situation. And just because you're not, if you're not on the coast, if you are on the coast, of course, we trust that you're going to take this seriously. But if even for those far inland, like the Ozarks, you need to be watching this because we're talking about a flood threat potentially for low-lying areas if we get too much rain. Um, and that's certainly not out of the question. And also, uh, just, just a quick science, uh, uh, scientific fact for everyone, the northeast quadrant, that's the, that, if you slice it in, in four cuts, it's the top right uh, portion 
that you have to watch even more closely because that is typically where you see the most chance of a tor- of potential tornadoes. And David, um, I don't know if you have anything you want to add to that, but I just want everyone to be uh, have a heads up about this. This this just again just because this is not a hurricane, this is a this is going to pack a, quite a bit of a punch. And um, the fact that it's moving so quick, people need to act now uh, to protect themselves if needed. If you're along the coast, we suggest you get off the coast. If you're far inland, keep uh, keep a well aware of what the National Weather Service says. If they tell you there's a flood warning, uh, please have a way of getting those warnings or tornado warnings, et cetera. Uh, David, I don't know if you, if, you, if you have anything else you wanted to add to that. Uh, nothing else um, I want to add other than uh, just make sure that everybody stays safe, um, especially along the coast and even further inland um, into the Ozarks and further north and that beyond the Ozarks. And just stay tuned to a good source of information, i.e. your local media, your local National Weather Service office, um, All the National Weather Service offices do a great job in warning everybody, and we trust that uh, they will do it again. And uh, hope everybody um, stays safe because, yes, this is a tropical storm. This is not a hurricane. I mean, we're only talking winds of 50 miles per hour here, but it's dangerous. There's no question about that. It is dangerous, and this is something that... People need to take seriously. We're not trying to scare anybody. We would never try to scare anybody here at the Citizen Report. But when it comes to storms like this, you have got to take this seriously. And we will do our best to keep everybody at home who watches this podcast safe and informed. And uh, we will get you through this. We, we've been through tropical storms before along the Gulf Coast. We've been through hurricanes, and we've gotten through okay. We will do it again th- with this one. And, of course, the Citizen Report has a pretty pretty proven track record of, of having hurricane coverage. I remember, before I end, I'll just want, I just wanted to say real quick, back when this was a college podcast, I actually covered, uh, it, you know, in post-mortem fashion, I should say, the Hurricane Florence that just battered the North Carolina coast back in 2018. And th- again, this was when it was a college podcast. And uh, I, I remember telling people, you know, telling, t- you know, giving t- uh, tips on um, on how to prepare for the next hurricane. And if I may just say briefly, uh, just off the top, you know, just from what I know, um, it's always a good idea to have non-perishable food. You want to have cash if all possible in case of if uh, points of sale devices go down. You want to have, obviously, think about your pets as well. You want to have water because you don't know if water, you'll have a clean source of water. Um, And have important documents or at least copies of important documents kept in in a sleeve or in a folder or some other way you can get to it pretty quickly. And if you have to evacuate, if you have rising flood wires and you need to move, that way you can just take it, throw it in the car and go. So, um, again, this is not a hurricane. But just be aware that just because it's not a hurricane, this can do quite a bit of of harm to those who are caught off guard. So, David, um, uh, great work as always. Uh, Unless you have anything else, I think we'll wrap up the special bulletin right about here. Uh, Did you have anything else? Nope. That's it. Okay. All right, David. Uh, Great work as always. As I said, David, of course, is our not just my co-host, but chief weather correspondent and uh, and uh, rightfully so, because he's uh, well versed on this stuff. So, on that note, thank you everyone to tuning in to the special bulletin. I'm John DeShannon in Marshville, North Carolina, for David in Oklahoma and myself here in North Carolina. Have a great rest of your day, great weekend, and be safe. And we'll see you right back here again next time. Have a good night, everyone. Good night.